So when to kill an ad or assets, right? So always kill your ads first and then assets. So for example, if you are, um, let's say if you are, if you are, uh, let's say you have like three ads within each ad set, right? So one of those ads might be performing quite well and other two like might not be as well performing. So always kill like if, for example, two of those ads are not performing as well, just kill those two ads, right? And leave the, the that outstanding one running if it's profitable, right? Then some of the main metrics, right? That, you know, I just, I just use for optimizing and just killing obvious losers, right? So for me, it's like, for example, if click through rate link is below 1% in the last three days, right? So if, if, if click through rate is below like 1% in the last three days, then you just kill the ads because it's, it's just too low, right? And most of the niches, like you simply will, will not be like competitive. So, Unless like ROAS is positive and unless you're like actually profitable with that asset, just, you know, just make sure you kill it. Then if CPC uh, link is over $3 in the last three days, kill. Again, in most of the niches, like if you have CPC link of over like 3%, then most likely your ads are just like not resonating with, not resonating with the audience or you're just like not good enough. So you just have to kill it and work on the quality of your ads. You need to make them better and more competitive, right? If you spent your break-even KPI, but have no sales, let's say you spend the product, you sell the product for like $30 and the product, you know, with all of the expenses cost you like $10, then you have $20 to get a sale. Let's say you spend like $20, but have no sales, then I would recommend kill it. So I know some people recommend like spending two X, your max KPI, like some people recommend like spending three X, right? So you would have to find your own way. Obviously, you know, as I said, it's kind of like if you're on a stage where like you you investing into getting more customers, even if it's like a in a in a slight loss, if you have a good budget for advertising, you can spend like two X, three X KPI for each ad set. If even if it's not profitable, just let it like give it more data. Like the most conservative approach is like to give it like your break-even KPI, if it's not profitable, then you kill it, right? Um, then it's it's very, this one is, is more aggressive. So for example, if today it's not profitable, then kill it, right? Let's say if you're selling something that costs like $20, $30, then it doesn't take a lot of time for a person to make a decision because like it's, it's very like inexpensive product that you sell, right? So if they don't buy it today and let's say your ad set like spent, you know, that's that same like $20 that the max you can spend, then I would just kill it because it's just like not hitting the right segment of the audience, right? And if it gets close to break even ROAS, just kill it, right? If it's just, you see that's like fall, falls below, then kill it. So now this approach is very, as you can see, it's very aggressive. It's like you're killing these ad sets pretty much like if they're not performing, you're just killing them quite fast, right? But at the same time, um, you know, if you're like on lower budgets, that would be the approach you wanna take. If you are on a, on a bigger budget, if you have like bigger budget to invest, then you just give more time. Then you would just measure the results, let's say on a two days data, because you would allow for some of the fluctuations in the ad spend, right? Or you can even take like three days data into consideration. And if those metrics kind of like, they might fluctuate, but in, if on average they're profitable or above like break even point, then you would just leave those, those ads and asset uh, running, right? So when to scale an ad? That's another question I get asked like a lot, right? And so you need to have to uh, actually have like good ads in order to scale. So a lot of the people, they think that scaling is some, some kind of like magic that you use, but it, in reality, it's just like having good ads. And when you have like good ads and good enough ads that are competitive, the scaling, uh, you know, just comes naturally. So, you know, website conversion rate. So if uh, I think like most of, the, most of the products, if you have like conversion rate of less than 1%, probably you won't be able to scale unless your average order value is very high and it's, you know, it's still profitable for you. So you need to work on your conversion rate if you actually want to, uh, to scale. So if, you, if you're above like 1% and you know, between one and 10% conversion rate, then you know, it's kind of like the, the framework and, and uh, benchmarks for scaling. Then click through rate link, uh, if you hit like 3% plus, that's ideal, right? That's my personal benchmark. And CPC link of $1 or less, right? If, you, if you're hitting those, um, benchmarks, then you should be, uh, you should be like, your ads are competitive, your ads are resonating with people, so you should be able to scale uh, quite easily, right? Average watch time, uh, 10 seconds or more. So if you have a video that, you know, people watch for 10 seconds or more, I found that helps you with comp competition, helps you, helps your video to be competitive in the auction. So that's definitely helps you to get more, um, 
more win, win more auctions for, with a good audience in them, right? Um, then consistent sales the last three days. So if, for example, you know, your ad was profitable yesterday, but it's not profitable today, and then tomorrow it might be profitable, then it's not really like a scalable ad. It's kind of like still in this like learning uh, stage with like a lot of fluctuation. So I wouldn't touch like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know, consider that as a very good ad to scale. And then the quality engagement and conversion. So that needs to be average or higher, right? So all of these metrics on the ad level, if you click a performance, um, basically the, uh, the, um, you know, all of these metrics for that have been replaced, you know, the relevant score, right? If they're like average or higher, that's, then you're in a position to scale because if you're like below, let's say below like in, in, in the most like uh, lower, like 10% of all ads, then most likely you will not be able to scale on the bigger scale with more auctions, you'll simply be unprofitable. So these are the, these are the benchmarks. This is when to kill and when to scale Facebook ads, uh, guys. So this is my optimization guide. As I've said, you can be more aggressive if you're like on a lower budget. So basically cut your ads more aggressively, faster, you know, no emotions attached, just simply measuring by numbers. Or if you have the, if you have the uh, budgets, then you can be kind of like let them more budget, let them spend more budget and just spend more money to accumulating more data and acquiring more customers, even if it's like not profitable exactly today. So this is it guys. Uh, if you're looking uh, for help with scaling your e-commerce business or Facebook ads, please click on the link below in the description. Uh, apply for a call with my team. We'll help you to, to scale your business uh, and Facebook ads. If, you're, if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel um, and comment below if you have any questions. I'll make sure to answer them for you guys. Thank you very much guys. I'll see you in the next video.